It's not surprising that most Americans don't know where their water comes from. And in fact, that's partly a testament to the engineering marvel that our water supply systems really are. When something is that reliable and that present in our daily lives, we don't stop to ask and wonder where it comes from. From the perspective of a conservation organization, we really want people to know and appreciate where the water comes from. Uh, and that's because we're always looking for ways to articulate this connection between people and nature. And when people understand where their water comes from, when they can actually look at a lake or a river and know that that's their water, and that is the most visceral, direct connection with nature that's possible. That's, that's literally what you will be putting into your body. And then further, if they, if they, once they understand that the water in that lake or river has really come from miles and miles around, and it's, it's all that rainwater that has moved through the soils and the vegetation and the ecosystems, and they make that connection, then they're going to see that natural landscape in a completely different way and feel very directly connected to it. There's several examples uh, in the real world of where people, once they have learned about this connection, about where their water comes from, that they really do then prioritize it and, and are willing to protect it. For example, voters in Minnesota and Iowa uh, voted for, a, for a, a, a small tax increase that would fund land protection to protect the sources of their water.